in today's totally relatable tutorial, we'll be discussing the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. I'm so excited for this. Like, look at this hair. Oh, I mean, this is, you know, 2020. We got to step it up a little bit. Here's some basic things before starting. You will need, obviously, a hair dryer. You will need a round brush clips of any kind for you to put your hair into sections and some type of leave-in product. So if you want to learn how to blow dry your hair in 10 to 20 minutes and if you want to see how the Dyson hair dryer works and really does smooth out the hair, then please go ahead and keep watching. The new Supersonic hair dryer um, it's not new to the industry, but it's new to me. It has two nozzles and a diffuser. I love using this nozzle here. It's very, very slim and sleek and just leaves the hair cuticle very flawless, compacted, and a lot more manageable, in, in my opinion. So let's get started. For you to kind of like get an idea of the things you need. So you want to have some type of leave-in product um, that's going to protect your hair against heat and damage. And one good product that I like is the Olaplex number no. 6. Apply a very small amount to damp or even dry hair if you want. Old style for up to 72 hours. That is a long time. It says leave-in reparative styling cream reduces frizz, nourishes, and protects. So really hoping that it does some magic because look at these ends, girl. Like I need help. A quarter size drop. I'm just going to spread this mid lengths to ends. Especially on the areas that I need it. Putting the excess on top. It's a wet brush, by the way, so it is very easy on tangles and pulling on hair. If you have really tangly hair, I suggest you comb your hair out by section. Like literally taking your hair like this, section, brush, take another section and brush down. It's just like the easiest way without damaging your hair. Brushing your hair and just ripping through tangles can be super damaging. I'm going to take a little bit more of this actually. Focus it on my ends. And this product probably won't work for everybody because it's super super creamy. I think it might be heavy for thinner hair textures but I have a mix of coarse, fine, and medium hair. So it's a hot mess. So I just try to keep it mid-length to ends and some on top, like the leftover that's on my hands. So the next step is to section your hair. And I'm just going to rectangle section my hair. And then just swirl it down and clip it. The next couple sections to be right here behind my ear. I'm gonna section that. What you can do if you don't have any clips for this part is you just twist the section in two, just like that. And the same for this side. Split it in two and twist it together. I even do this with clients, like if I can't find a hair clip because we're so busy and they're all dirty, I just one clip, twist, and that's it. And in the back, you're just going to split it in two. We're going to start with sides just because they're, they are the easiest and the easiest to practice on also. So we'll start on this side. So basically what we're going to do, I grab the hair and I place the round brush directly underneath. Twist with your hand here, your fingers, 
you're going to roll what you get here the hair is gonna start to come out so you're gonna start to roll again those ends and just roll up come back down and go like this take out put back under and put back like this and if you want your hair to flip out you're gonna basically do that motion and pull and hold it let go place twist roll roll with your fingers you can come back up hold and let go now we're going to start with the blow dryer i'm going to turn this on So basically what you want is to have that placed right behind the brush. So I'm coming over this way and placing down, blow drying the hair cuticle downwards, so not up. And the only time that I go up is when I am at the ends of my hair and I place it right there at the ends because the most important thing of having professionally blow dried hair is that you don't miss the ends. I see this so much in the hair industry. It's like this look. Like that. And that's it. And my ends are still wet. That's like the whole point is that you look polished. Like you just walked out of the hair salon, you know, and then you have these frazzled ends. No, no, no. So make sure that you get the ends of your hair, but don't fry them. Please don't fry them. Don't hold it there for more than three seconds and then move on. Having that blow dryer always behind the brush. For me, I'm gonna flip out, so I'm gonna put, place my brush on top, twist, and pull. I'm gonna go underneath the brush first. And then I'm gonna go on top, getting those ends. You have your perfect little flip or a rounded under, whichever you prefer. Little to no frizz. My ends look polished. So you might have seen me do like this motion. Basically what that does is kind of like speed drying a little bit. Um, it kind of just forces the water out a little bit faster, the moisture in the hair. And it also avoids leaving lines or marks in the hair and avoids damage instead of having consistent heat on the spot um, you're constantly moving the heat around so that it's not able to really concentrate in one area too much yeah i hope you guys like it so far if you do give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below and subscribe so let's move on to the other section you this when I turn it on okay ready let's see if you notice that it moves like that's how strong this dryer is you guys and the heat comes from in here like it directs it and it um, let me flip it this way all of this is the heating core and all of that stuff 
so it's pretty cool. I really like it. My coworker Lily had this dryer and I mean, I don't know why hers like this was easily like coming off like if you remotely knocked the nozzle with the round brush, it would come off. So, moving on. So, a lot of the controversy that has also happened is that when I put the nozzle like this, they're like, oh, but aren't you putting the blow dryer up? Yes, I'm technically pointing the blow dryer upwards, but I'm still going in the same direction as the hair cuticle. Because the hair is flipped up, it's still technically smoothing the hair cuticle down. I know this sounds weird, but try to grasp it, okay? Going back. Another trick that I learned from Nicolette and Brittany at Moxie from watching them so many times is, especially Brittany, I would see her take out and replace the brush and roll it back up and hold it there for like a couple seconds and she would press it like this and then she would pull it out. It's so pretty. So let's redo this side. Look at that bounce, like, I love it feels like so light and airy that's the feeling that you want if you move your head side to side and like you have this like swoosh to the front of your hair or to the back you know it's a good blow dry so let's move on to the back sections of the hair so we're going to split this directly down the middle in two we're going to do this Basically, I'm gonna take this section and split it in half. I'm gonna leave that top part out, bringing the bottom section forward. I'm grab it, place my brush, and bring it out to the side and forward. to let it cool and set and there's our little bounce let's do the top you can always replace your brush as many times as you need to in order to get the hair the way that you want it to go Just for about three seconds, so one, two, three, and pull out words. And there is that bounce. So I'm gonna do the other side and I will be right back. Okay, so now that I'm back and everything back here is completely 100% dry, like literally no frizz whatsoever and I deal with very puffy hair very very poofy hair so I think it's doing a really really good job of compressing the hair cuticle and I don't feel like it's dry or anything so let's move on to the top part and take a another section here just clip this part out of the way Take my round brush and just kind of like go over this section. And I'm gonna stick it underneath. 
to get some volume, I'm gonna round brush this forward. back and section my hair. I use this brush has like a pointy sectioner at the end. You just literally take it out and place it here. apply this on dry hair as well so that's what I'm gonna do or made it wow look at that zero zero flyaways let's see about these hairs for my final touches I'm just gonna spray some of this brilliant from Aveda it's a spray on shine and push it off with some Sebastian hairspray. And so yeah, this is the final hair look. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this totally relatable tutorial. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next Totally relatable tutorial. Bye!